Give me a pick that you thought was was too high, Coop. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna regret this. The more tape I watch, I already regret it. Uh, you know, I went with Kelvin Banks, and Banks was a guy that we had as a five star. He actually got the mm. second to last spot coming out, and there was some conversation about making him uh, the number one offensive tackle in the country that year. Is actually Josh Connerly Jr. Uh, out of Washington now with okay. Oregon. Um, and a guy that, you know, probably needs another year. I'm, I'm be pretty interested to kind of see where he's sitting uh, at the end of the season. But Banks, uh, you know, was a guy that we always loved in the run game. And then you can turn on the tape now uh, at the collegiate level. That has not changed. I mean, he is an absolute terror. I think the only thing, and I am nitpicking here, the only question I had is maybe a little bit of the pass protection stuff. I think sometimes uh, can get uh, a little over, over himself, overextend a little bit. But outside of that, I mean, this kid, as clean as they come, he started every game since he's been at Texas. You know, for the category of what we're talking about here, it doesn't make much sense because I can definitely see him going top five. Uh, the other guy that I was actually thinking about was Will Campbell. Uh, mm. and was a guy that we really liked. Ended up moving to, I think he ended up 66 for us. Thing I got hung up on was I thought he was a good athlete. I didn't think he was an elite athlete. I thought he was a super clean player. He had 33-inch arms coming out. He really struggled against some guys like Walter Nolan when we got to see him uh, live throughout the combine circuit. You don't hold that over his head. Uh, but that's always something that kind of stuck in the back of my mind. Is this guy going to be a left tackle at the next level? He's proved that uh, in the SEC. Um, and, you know, I think the way that he's wired, you can't really go wrong with a kid like him. I am kind of interested to see where he stacks up at the end of the day with the rest of these tackles. Yeah, I didn't love Will Campbell as much as I don't know if Rick. I think Rick liked him a little bit more than I did. But Rick, I was when when Coop was talking, I was like Josh Connerly. I've heard that name somewhere before. Yeah. That was you. Yeah, <laughs> I like Josh Connerly. <laughs> yeah, so you were on to him. You you get uh, with the first pick props for for getting him first. Uh, Rick, any thoughts on uh, one guy? You might have five guys who are too high. Five. I wish I only had five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who you got? Let's go. Let's do it. I, I, I got to go with Cam Ward. Uh, one. You have him going number 13, the Raiders. And I know Tom Telesco very well. He's not going to reach on a quarterback. Uh, just uh, sum it hey, up. Hold, hold on. Sorry to interrupt you. Would he have reached on a quarterback at 13 had one of the Penix Jr. or Bo Nix been there, though? I've heard rumors that they liked really liked uh, Penix Jr. Okay. Okay. All right. So, go ahead. Uh, they would have taken Penix Jr. I don't know about Bo Nix. I didn't hear anything, but I know Penix Jr. was a guy they were hoping fell to them. Okay. So uh, I'm going with Cam Ward. Understand at Washington State, he does have unique athletic ability. He's got a strong enough arm. I don't think he processes very well. To me, my comp was a little bit Tyrod Taylor, a little bit Malik Willis when he came out of Liberty. I didn't think this guy is worthy of a first round pick at this point. And I know Tom Telesco, knowing him very well, uh, would not reach at 13 to take a Cam Ward. It was just bizarro land to me that you would land him there <laughs> they got to do something i mean unless one of these guys is going to turn to a hall of famer mm, zach prescott zach prescott zach okay prescott. Well, look i could you can talk me into that